Hi everyone, I'm Neamanda Hagen. And I'm Neomega. And we decided to invent some dishes that you probably shouldn't cook. May God have mercy on our poor, poor souls. Potato chips. Crisps! Were invented when a chef's revenge on an unruly customer backfired. Sometimes good things can come from stupid ideas. Sometimes. They're still called crisps! Right, so go with me, okay? So turducken, okay? Turducken. But... Turducken is so done. Turducken is literally everywhere. I mean, hello? Hello, who's that? I will tell her, indeed, I will tell her right now. The odds called. They want their content back. I was just worried that if we called it Dessertception, we get a copyright strike. Wah. Right, so we had turducken once. Or... Something like it. chicken inside duck inside goose because a British Christmas isn't Christmas without the goose, apparently. Right, and it was so nasty. There's a reason most normal cultures don't eat goose, and that's because it's nasty. So, inform the victims, the audience, the people watching, what are we making today? They ain't victims and I eat shit. A dessert turducken, my dear. A cookie in a cookie in a brownie in a pie. It's all about looking as impressive as possible, and better than everybody else at the party, while putting in as little time and effort as possible. Is this another one of these American things? Oh, yeah, completely. Fuck. This recipe is all about the easiest way to the most impressive end result, because who has time for hours of baking during the holidays? Not busy you, that's for sure. We use convenience ingredients, but if you're hardcore committed to this, you can do everything from scratch. You're going to need some Oreo, <coughs> or Hydrox cookies, chocolate chip cookie dough, box brownie mix, an egg or eggs and oil for the mix, a can of pie filling, and either a pre-made pie crust or the raw pre-made dough shell, as well as some short crust for the top. Now, we weren't sure which shell would work best, so we just went ahead and bought two. Start by preheating the oven and molding the cookie dough around the Oreo. It'll be fairly hefty, but don't worry, that's only the beginning. Next, bake the cookie abominations as per package instructions and let cool. While the cookies are cooling, make up the brownie mix, add the cookies, and bake as per package instructions. Now, we're using a larger pan, but you can use a smaller square pan for thicker brownies. I'm confused. Mm -hmm. When does the chicken get involved? No, see, it's not like a chicken. Be... Look, if we can get through this without getting like instant diabetes, I'll get you KFC for lunch. Sounds like a deal. If your pie shell is raw dough and requires pre-baking, do that before cutting the brownies and stuffing the pie, adding the pie filling in your choice. We use cherry because it goes well with chocolate, but you can use your own favorite fruit filling if you want. Seal the pie with short crust and bake as per package instructions. Then pull it out, and it's time to release the 4 and 20 blackbirds. And now, the taste test. You can actually see our food this time. Yeah. It doesn't look like we have like small slave children holding it up. But That's because uh, we actually don't have a tripod this time. So if you feel um, the aura of the Feast Trilogy or Doctor Who Series 9 or Julie Taymor's Titus, the DVDs are right there. Like Red Dwarf Series 12, just... Now, I predict this is probably going to be good because... Yeah. All the things that went into it are good. See, she, when she comes up with these ideas, she thinks to herself, Ooh, what could possibly be good? And I, I think, I want to come up with horrible shit and bizarre shit because it will amuse the audience. Because it's much less interesting when we're like, Ooh, this is quite good. Even though Fuck it's better for us. It is? You should make this and bring it to Christmas next year. Bunch of piece of cookie. Okay. You're going to choke if you try to... <laughs> Make, take up smaller piece. Cherry pie filling, cookie Oreo cookie inside another inside a cook, uh, chocolate. And they chip. were they were brownie flavor Oreos because that's what was on offer on that aspect. Inside another thing, it's like, oh, we can do a take a smaller piece. You're gonna choke on Tropic your Thunder Joe. No, and a cookie inside another cookie is being inside a pie. I, you try to eat that whole piece at once. I'm not gonna do a Heimlich on camera. Oh my god, that was terrible. But still, don't thumbs down this. This is really good. I hoped it would be. Mm hmm. It worked. We should cook this. I love this pie. We should cook this next, next Christmas. And people be like, what flavor is it? Just be like, cherry. <laughs> I tell you what, as an American, we are all down for the recipes that. How can I put this? Minimum amount of work, minimum amount of money, maximum impressiveness. She could be like, oh, I just threw this together. That's where ambrosia salad comes from. Like, I mean, everyone knows what ambrosia salad is, but like, explain to my coworkers, yeah, you just buy several tins of different kinds of fruit and syrup, and then you like, pour it all together. 
you don't only save some of the syrup and then you add little baby marshmallows and it's ambrosia salad and you just bring it to you know a thing and everyone's like oh you made ambrosia salad oh that's great i have some cool whip in the fridge and they were horrified they're like so it's just tin fruit together with marshmallows Aye. yeah that's not a thing over here ambrosia salad so clearly our culture is thousands of years above yours no it's just we, we come up with these kinds of things you know, like like chocolate bark yeah, I can think our, our pre-Celtic ancestors here in Ireland inventing something called Ambro like Ambrosia salad. I'm not talking about the Celts. I'm talking like the Beaker people, the pre-Gales, who were killed by the Celts. Um, they would come up with something like that, and the Celts were like, we prefer to cut people's heads off and hang them on our this walls. Is lunch. We have time to have lunch. But yeah, like yeah. I first time I made chocolate bark here, everybody was really impressed. Oh yeah, like, what's the recipe? Bark. I'm like. Melted chocolate. Let it dry. <laughs> yeah, we don't have that either. It's a really easy thing that you can do, and you can add whatever you want to it, like some peppermint extract and crushed candy cranes. Candy cranes. <laughs> candy canes at the top, and then it's um, peppermint bark. You know, whatever you could you could pulverize a crunchy bar and put that on top. That'd be yeah. great for some honeycomb. And I just realized you might be able to hear there's a washing machine going. Oh, we should have no. paused that. Oh well. Um, I'm finding that the, your choice of pie topping is weird though. This is the sort of pie topping that I connect with savory pies because such a thing exists over here. In fact, most pies are savory. But cherry goes better with, with, with chocolate than no, no, like no, the apple or it's something. It's the topping. Oh, the, why? The top is a savory pie top, at least mm. to my experience. That's because I wrote short crust in the script, but I said puff paste to you. I think that was the problem. You wrote that on the shopping list. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I meant short crust when I wrote the script, but I wrote. It's all right. It's still fine. It's really good, actually. It's just a bit weird for, to my palate because I'm used to it in other contexts. Yeah, well. How about what about the inside? Oh yeah, it, it, it's good. It works. I mean, I don't, I don't like Oreos, but it works. You can't really tell though because they're so far in there. Yeah, you can make this with a. You don't even need to use an Oreo or whatever. You can go mad with other stuff. Mm. You know, completely different type of cookie, like red, do red velvet things. Do um. Oh, that'd be really good. Do all kinds of things. Experiment with this. This is a good idea. Or you could take a uh, Reese's cup or one of the Butterfinger cups, right? Open the Oreo. So put it in the Oreo. And then put that in the cookie. And then put that in the brownie. And then put that in the thing. Or I saw a thing on YouTube where someone take, took several pies and baked them into cakes and made this huge layer cake of frosting like in between each layer. Huh. It was three different kinds of pies. It was an apple pie, a cherry pie, and a pumpkin pie. Hmm. Pumpkin would ruin it. Yeah. Yeah. I had an I idea. Hate, I hate pumpkin pie. It's nasty. Because you got the dessert turducken, you got the regular turducken. How about the soft drink turducken, where we can have like an iron brew inside Pepsi, inside lemonade, where you just pour juice into other juice? That would just be nasty. It would taste like nothing but nasty. If you do orange and coke, it'll be a meso mix. Yeah. And then if you add vodka, it's passable. <laughs> well, you should cook this, everyone. Go forth and put your. If you cook anything that we make, um, take a picture and put it in the comments, or like link or something. Yeah. Or tweet to us. We love that. We'll be like, hey, I made this thing, and I'll be like, retweet. How could you improve this recipe? <laughs> the sky's the limit. This is the internet, people. Go forth and try this, and then make it look good on Instagram and Pinterest. Over here, we very nearly live on meat pie, so I'd like to try a steak and cookie pie, and then regret it immediately. Well. That was something. <clears throat> something amazing. Something very good. Something that you should try. But join us next time for something else that you probably shouldn't cook. And if you have any ideas for recipes, please send them our way.